Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. And today I wanted to show you um, how to solve a problem that I came across. So I have been designing a hand spun blanket that is going to be woven in double whip, double weave. And this is my own design. And when I made the design, I messed up and I designed it too wide. And I didn't realize that until I was about two thirds of the way through winding the warp. So I went back to the program and I took some threads out, but that meant that I needed to uh, now take the threads out of my wound bouts. Fortunately, I have not wound onto the loom yet. Um, I have it in, in all my bouts. And so I'm going to show you today how to uh, correct that. So how to put the bouts back onto the warping board and uh, fix it. So here we go. So the first thing I did was uh, go back and adjust my uh, warping chart to show how many threads uh, in each that I wound onto the warping board um, for each color. And uh, then I figured out which bouts uh, I needed to pull and put back on the warping board. And I did it by color. So I adjusted the green and the blue, um, taking out 12 threads of each of those colors where there were um, either 68 or uh, 34 threads. And so I've done the green and now I am going to be doing the blue. So fortunately, on the first bout that I'm going to be doing on the blue, and on the green ones, uh, it also turned out this way, is the blue that needs to have the threads taken out is not in the middle of something. So um, this one has 68 uh, blue threads um, right on the side and so I can just put this bout on the warping board, take off the 12 threads that are needing to be taken off and then um, chain it back up. So, um, so I chain my warps and I, uh, on this one I've used uh, the chip clips. And so it's very easy to just separate those back out. Um, I've got, my path set up on the warping board still and I'm not going to stretch this bout out to its full length. There's really no need to do that. Um, so I'm just going to uh, place it back on the warping board And because it's chained, I'm going to start here at the bottom. And this actually is backwards from the way I originally wound it, but that's fine because um, I need to take uh, threads off of this blue section. So I'm just going to put it on that way. And then I'm going to unchain it and follow my warping path. And if it's twisted at all, I'm going to untwist it. And it doesn't have to lay perfectly flat. We're not trying to tension it. We're just taking off those threads. Um, if they were in the middle, um, that would be a different story. Uh, and we'd have to do a little bit different technique in that case. And We'll see if I run into one of those along the way. Um, okay, so when I wound this, I wound it with a security cross up here. And unfortunately, I probably am not going to be able to keep that, uh, but we'll see. So I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit, make sure it's tight. And I'm I originally worked from this far peg. I'm only going to uh, stretch it out to this peg. There's no need to stretch any further than that. So we'll take 
Oops, my clip off of there and set it aside. And then we'll see if we can save this cross up here. So for this one, I'm just going to see if I can. And with the security cross, I just tied um, a loop string through it. There we go. So we'll just see if we can tease that out. And find all the threads that go over and under. There we go. And this will help find our loop too. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And let's see if we can get this one. If I can save this security cross, I'd like to. All right, so carefully pull it over, making sure that it doesn't come off the ends there. All right, so I was able to save that one. Um, so we'll just cut that off, toss it, because it's going to be too short now. So I know that I need to take 12 threads off, and we'll take our clips off of this cross down here now that I've got it secured on the working board. Um, but on one of the previous ones, uh, I took what I thought was six off, I counted what was remaining, and um, I didn't have enough. So I'm not sure if I originally wound it incorrectly or um, or maybe I miscounted uh, 12 threads. Uh, so this, the blue is going to be 56. So we'll count out 56 threads. Um, so one, two, three. So there's 56 and I should have 12 left over. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. So I know that I have 56 here. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to take my clips and put those back on one leg of my cross. And that way I know what I've got. All right, so up here, I'm going to um, pull in a uh, ball winder and let me tilt you down so you can see this. Okay, so you could do this with a knitting otter or a skein winder or pretty much anything. Um, I happen to have a ball winder. It's easy um, and convenient. So let's find my loop up here. There it is. Okay, so this is the end string from um, when I originally wound it. So I'm going to take off a bit here because you want to be sure you don't pull these other threads off of the end pegs. Um, so I zoomed you out a bit. You could see my mess of a room more, but um, that way you can see the, uh, the top of the warping board a little bit and the bottom and just what's going on across the whole warping board. So I am going to just thread this onto my ball winder and then start winding on. 
And then I'm going to carefully pull this off of my warping board while I wind my ball winder. And I want to be careful not to pull the rest of the yarn off of the warping board. So you can see that counting out how many threads I need to take off and separating those makes it a lot easier to see when I need to stop. That is the last one. So I have 12 threads off. Um, and now I am going to uh, re secure my end. Um, and let's see if we can find a long thread in my mess of threads to. Here that there's one. We'll secure my security cross and my backup cross. And then this cross down here. And then I can cut this up here and we'll push this off to the side and then I can um, chain this back off. So that's all there is to it. Um, it's fairly painless. Uh, it's a bit of a hassle, but um, you can see it didn't didn't cause any issues. Uh, if the threads that I needed to take off were in the middle of uh, were in the, in the middle of a section, so let's say I had um, you know blue, red, blue, red, blue and I needed to take 12 of the middle blue ones off, I would wind the entire bout off onto my ball winder. Hopefully my ball winder can handle that much. Um, and then I would uh, remeasure the entire warp um, bout because I, could, I wouldn't be able to get the tension correctly um, throughout the entire bout. Uh, so that would be how I did it. So we'll go ahead and put this one aside and grab the next one and do it again. Okay, so that is the last one um, that I needed to fix. So I will go ahead and finish warping the rest of the bouts and then we can put it on the loom. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, and happy weaving!